Today we are going to learn about the Hoover Dam. It's a pretty cool place and it serves two important purposes that we're going to learn today. If you've ever been to the Hoover Dam, you've seen this sign. This is the sign when you're really close to the Hoover Dam. It lets you know, you know, it's Hoover Dam time. It's really exciting, you know, and you want to dance in front of the sign, and it's cool, and it's fun. What an amazing place, and we're going to talk about it. But real quick, if you've ever been to the Hoover Dam, we want to hear what you thought about it. So right in the comment section if you've been to the Hoover Dam and we're gonna jump right in but this is the sign this is the sign that you see when you get to the Hoover Dam and you might think ah, it's not impressive it is it's a great sign it's an amazing sign great sign for the Hoover Dam well gee williker this is quite a structure you're looking at it right now on that picture it's amazing it's made of three point two five million tons of concrete it weighs more than 6.5 million tons the hoover dam is an amazing structure now where is the hoover dam the hoover dam is near the west coast of the united states of america it's actually on the border between the states of nevada and arizona you can see right where it is where that red dot is right there that's where the Hoover Dam is. It crosses the Colorado River, which you could see right here. And of course, here's the Hoover Dam, this big concrete structure. I wonder if the river gets angry about this, right? Wouldn't, wouldn't you think the, the river would get upset, right? Just flowing along and all of a sudden, boom, you know, there's, there's concrete, there's a concrete wall. You know, and the river does flow through, but it's, it's just, it's, it's a big... It's a big hassle, right? I mean, you know, it's a, it's blocking the way. You know, it's a big deal. You don't you don't think you don't think the river's upset? No. Okay, the river doesn't have feelings. Okay. I okay. I just just thrown it out there. Okay. <laughs> no need to nitpick. Okay. They started building the Hoover Dam in 1931, and they finished building it in 1936. Which is a little confusing because on the Hoover Dam it says 1931 and 1935. But it was in 1935, the year before it was finished, that they dedicated it. Okay, so they dedicated it before it was actually finished. But it was in 1936 that they finished construction. And by the end of it, 21,000 total people helped build it. Huge achievement might not realize this, but there was a big controversy back then about what we should name it. What should we name it? Well, some people wanted to name it Boulder Dam, and in the early days, a lot of people did. It was originally thought that it was going to be called the Hoover Dam after President Herbert Hoover. You see, President Herbert Hoover was not popular. In fact, when he ran for re-election in 1932, he lost. And so a lot of people didn't like him, and a lot of people didn't want to name the dam after him. It might seem silly and funny to us today, but back then it was a big deal and there was a big fight over it. In fact, map makers didn't even know what to put. They didn't know whether to put Boulder Dam or Hoover Dam, and there was so much disagreement. Eventually, thankfully, everyone just decided, hey, let's call it the Hoover Dam. There are other things that we can argue about and fight about. Let's just call it the Hoover Dam. We mentioned earlier that the Hoover Dam has two main purposes. I mean, it's not just there to look pretty. If it was, they would have put the Homeschool Pop logo on the dam, right? If they wanted it to look pretty, that's what they would have done, okay? <laughs> that's a joke. The two purposes of the Hoover Dam are to control the Colorado River and also to generate electricity. Remember this? It's easy to see how the Hoover Dam helps control the Colorado River to make sure the levels are always where they need to be. 
but it also generates a ton of electricity for people to use. It uses things called turbines, which are spun by the water and generates electricity. It generates enough power for 1.3 million people. The Hoover Dam is a massive powerhouse, which is amazing, and that energy is really good for the environment. The Hoover Dam, made from 3.25 million tons of concrete. It's amazing. It took five years to build. It weighs more than 6.5 million tons. It looks cool. It controls the Colorado River. And it gives enough power for 1.3 million people. What an amazing structure the Hoover Dam is. The next time somebody talks about the Hoover Dam, you can think of this wonderful sign and the incredible achievement that the Hoover Dam is, and you can say, you know what, I know all about the Hoover Dam. I saw the homeschool pop video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.